So the other day, Blue Bell Ice Cream did the unthinkable. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Oh, what is the con? What's the procedure, John? What's the procedure? Stop What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. For those that don't know me, my name is Brock and I review root beers. So you can call me Root Beer Brock. And today on this episode, we are going to be trying Bluebell Ice Cream's new A&W Root Beer Float Ice Cream. I am so excited for this. This is probably one of the craziest inventions I've ever seen in the root beer industry. Ever since root beer itself, maybe, you know? Like, we've had root beer candy, we've had root beer floats, we had all types of combinations combining the amazing flavors of root beer into various different items. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is just game-breaking. We've had root beer floats before, but now the Bluebell ice cream is completely cutting out the middleman and saying, you know what? Who even needs the root beer? Who even needs the ice cream? Bluebell ice cream was like, you know what? What if we just do the heist of the century? What if we just shake up the ice cream industry and the root beer industry, brother? And we combine them into one. And I'm not just talking about a regular old root beer float. No, sir. Not today, brother. I am talking about a root beer float ice cream. So that's what we're going to be trying today, folks, and I am so excited. Let's waste no more time but to break out that ice cream. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that took absolutely forever. But I got the Bluebell ice cream. The Bluebell A&W ice cream. Look at this guys just look at this look how beautiful this packaging is this is the most beautiful packaging i've ever seen like from root beer to an ice cream to everything this is just beautiful it's oh uh, french kiss or i meant chef's kiss oh my gosh just look at this guys as you can see they combine the beautiful colors of what makes the A&W Root Beer logo and just combined it so beautifully with the Bluebell ice cream. And if you remember when we made that Root Beer Float video on the channel, the ice cream we used was Bluebell ice cream. So, is it a coincidence that they are doing this with A&W Root Beer? Was it me that inspired them to do this? Coincidence? I think not. But yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. My hand is really cold. So without further ado, let's let's just go ahead and get into it. Oh my. Mm. That beautiful smell of root beer aroma just echoes around the room and just makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. And I really think the blue bells out there. You know, during Christmas time, they sing about silver bells. But, you know, during summertime, it's pretty hot outside. So the way to cool you off is with some bluebell ice cream. So we sing about blue bells in the summertime. That's, that's what I was trying to say there. That's the joke, I guess. But, yeah, it smells amazing. Just, just look at that, guys. Look at that. We're not going to just be licking this and putting it back on the shelf today, folks. What a crazy time that was to be alive, if y'all know what I'm referencing. Okay. So I couldn't find a, a scooper for this, so what I'm going to do is just use a bigger spoon than the one I'm going to eat with. Look at this. Man. Who knew they made so many spoons? Oh, 
Oh, yes. Very nice. Very nice scoop. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so that should be good. I got me a bowl of the ice cream. All right, guys. Here we go. Bluebell's new A&W Root Beer Flow Ice Cream. Going in. Oh, mama. Oh, mama mia pizzeria. Trying to wrap there, but I guess I'm not that excited. I can't stress enough how long I've been waiting for something like this to release. I feel like it was a thing in the past. Um, I could be wrong about that, but I swear I feel like I've seen it before. Maybe it was just rumors before and it was fake. I don't know. But I had a friend that literally sent me screenshots of this, and I thought it was a meme. I thought it was fake. I thought they were messing with me. Sure enough, I looked it up, and I saw many news articles about it. Yes, this this collaboration is so important, ladies and gentlemen. We got news articles about it. That shows you how important the root beer is, the root beer floats are, and how important Bluebell ice cream is. Just absolutely wonderful. This is, this is unbelievable. It's so good. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt today, it's because we've got AC units blasting all throughout my house. And it gets so cold in here during the night. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to be eating ice cream. I'm probably going to get colder than usual. So I'm taking precautions for this. I am prepared. And I got this amazing long sleeve when I went to El Porvenir. In the mountains of New Mexico. Yeah, shout out El Porvenir, New Mexico. Beautiful place. And I really like how they added like a root beer flavored ice cream and then also just combine it with their their vanilla, their OG vanilla ice cream, which if you don't know, like Bluebell's vanilla ice cream, literally one of the greatest most high quality, best ice cream you can ever have in your entire life. It's amazing stuff. Same with their chocolate. Their chocolate is unreal. I don't know how they do it. Those cows be cooking up mean cream in the lab. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen. They're mean cream making machines. Ice cream. There is kind of a, like a, a little bit of an inconsistency with the flavor that you're getting. Each time you take a bite. So sometimes they'll have more root beer. And sometimes they'll have more of the vanilla. And when it has like probably 75% vanilla. And 25% root beer. I think that's fantastic. And then more of the root beer pieces that I'm getting. Like that has a majority of root beer on the spoon. Eh. It's, it's okay. I mean. But I, I think this is just a magical invention all in all like absolutely fantastic job by bluebell ice cream this is going to be a big bite y'all ready y'all ready oh man so i'm going to tell you there's like this this extra added flavor in there that i'm just now picking up as the ice cream starts to melt, it tastes a little bit more creamy, which is what A&W is known for. And then also just like ice cream in general, you know, it's creamy. That makes it just 10 times better. I like that. So maybe that's the way to do it. Just let it set for a little bit and then go into it. Whoo. That might be the bad boy of ice cream. So I'm going to go ahead and rate this ice cream. And since this is not a normal root beer product, root beer drink, I'm going to do this in a star system out of five stars. So I, I think this is brilliant. It's, it's such a good invention and such a good thing, such a innovation, 
that Blue Bell Ice Cream and A&W have done and got together to do. So I absolutely enjoy this ice cream. Very good ice cream. It's not as good as Blue Bell Chocolate or Peanut Butter Cup or Vanilla itself, but darn it, it's definitely in that top five. Go ahead, pick this up. Give it a try. I think it'll definitely be worth your while. It is definitely a good buy. Very, very worth it. Like I said, one of the best inventions to come out in root beer in quite some time. So I think this does deserve a 5 out of 5 stars. I think this, this nailed it. This has all the cops in Los Santos after it right now. If you know, you know. GTA 5, hit me up. Gangster, gangster. Word. As I go in for the final scoop, which is melting suddenly off my plate, so I'm going to do this very fastly. Thank you so much for watching all my root beer videos, and if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's absolutely free, no charge whatsoever, and also, when you do so, turn on that notification bell so you never miss a root beer Brock video. So here we go, final scoop. It's so good. It's so good, man. And with that, I like to say, good job. Let's go home. You thirsty partner?